Hi guys, so these broilers are four weeks old today, 28 days today, and now we are going to be taking their weight. I'm going to be showing you what their weight is like. Right now, today, I'm going to be doing before you just like I always do. So, you know, I've actually sold some of them. I've had to sell some of them. Like I said earlier, when I just got them in, I mentioned that the most of them will be for family consumption, but I'm, I'm going to be selling some of them. So, I sold some at around three weeks plus i think three weeks and one or two days so i sold a good number of them but then we still have a good number here too we still have over half of the whole population so i'm going to be taking their weight now and let's see what we have been able to get yeah all right today you're going to be noticing a little bit of change you know in the container that i use before i use a plastic container this small paint container about four or five liters container but you know we have bigger beds now so we have to also go higher in terms of the container that i use so this is empty it's empty and uh, and we are going to zero the weight on this scale so because i've placed it before putting it on it's actually going to come on on zero yeah it's zero now i don't know how well you can see i think when this light goes off it's clearer yeah this is zero all right so that's what we have and if i remove this now we have negative 160 that's one kg and 60 grams that's what this thing weigh it's a lot so we are back to zero and i'm going to start taking the weight but then apart from the weight, I'm going to be telling you a lot of things. There are a lot of changes. There are a couple of changes that are very, very essential that I'm going to be starting from today. Since they are four weeks, yeah, they are four, four weeks old and I'm going to be starting to implement those changes. So you want to stick around to know what and what I'll be changing. Yeah. So I'll be talking about that after this weight taking, you know. So let's begin with the weight. Yeah, the weight. We are on zero. Let me get them. As always, you just pick randomly. Gosh. As always, you pick randomly. Sorry. Yeah. What do we have? Yeah, this one says 1.4. 1.41 kg. That's 1,410 grams. 1,410 grams. Okay, where's my pen? 1,410 Okay Okay And this one says 1,500 and Oh, 1,605 grams. And that's 1.6 kg and 5 grams. So I'm going to put that down. Yeah, I'm going to mark them as always. Mark the guys I've touched. Okay, let's zero it. And this is 1,660 grams. 1,660. Okay. And this one says 1,435. One, four, three, five grams. Okay. What do you have? This one says one thousand three eighty. Okay, let's have you. 
Okay, I've, I've done that before. You see why it's important to mark them? All right, so we're going to take the average of that and I'm going to give you what we have. But before that, a couple of changes I told you I was going to make is that after today or from today onward, I would stop giving them feed all around. Yeah, I don't think they have to gain that massive weight real fast again. There's nowhere we are rushing to again. And again, after four weeks, you know, you want to be careful with the temperature. They, 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 they tend to be more fragile in the afternoon so you don't want to give them loads of food so that at least they they don't have to metabolize so much and it will help them it will help their survival rate so i've not started noticing any deaths in the afternoon they are still okay but then it's a practice that i love to do once they are four weeks you don't feed them rapidly again so i i'm going to step down on their feeding and they at in the afternoon yeah they may have feed inside these feeders all around but in the hot afternoons i will just come and lift the feeders up i'm going to hoist it up so they don't have access to the feed they can just rest take water and all that so that's one of the changes that i'm going to be making and again, runs, 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 runs are those small chickens in the midst of the flock. They are the same age with the rest, but they are just small. They are inferior in quality to the rest. So I'm going to be talking about runs. I'm going to be making a video about runs and the best practice you can give them. I've actually not done anything with these ones here. I wanted them to come up as they are, their quality. I want everything to come up naturally. So I'm gonna be doing a video on the runs that we have here. I think we have about three to four runs here. And they are just small compared to the rest. Let me pick up one or two of them. As you can see, See the size of this? Okay, let me take the weight of this guy. This guy is still bigger. I think this one has a swollen crop area. So let me take the weight of this one quickly. So you see what I'm saying? Okay. See this guy? It's five, it's 495 grams. That's crazy. So I'm going to be doing a video on runs and um, what you can do about runs. So now let me get my phone and do the maths. What do we have as the average weight? One for fifty plus one five nine five plus one six seven five plus one six one one five plus one six five zero plus one six five zero and we are going to have the total of these and divide by 10 so we have all right guys i'm going to write that down one five seven four point five grams at four weeks and this is not bad considering the challenges that we have had to face you know i told you earlier in their life i had to switch from the super starter to starter earlier than normal and after that also you know i've, I've had to travel for two days without proper ventilation you know a couple of challenges like that but those are not actually excuses i'm just trying to tell you that we have had to face some challenges and coupled with the crd among the flock that we've been trying to suppress which I think the drugs have been doing well in suppressing it and you know that's what we have 1,574.5 grams that's over 1.5 kg almost 1.6 kg in only 28 days we can do better but this is not bad at all this is not bad at all I think with the with the rosterio hit the last um, practice with the rosterio hit I had about 1770 grams that's 1.77 almost 1.8 kg at four weeks so this is 
a little far from that but then it's still good anything around 1.6 is actually very good so that's what we have and it's a proof that you also can get that and even better than that See this guy here looks so healthy it's a meal yeah i love meals actually so that's it guys that's it it's day 28 we are done and we have 1.574 once again i'm diy hagrick your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner if you're here to subscribe to the channel please click that subscribe button click the notification bell so you don't miss my next upload and give us a thumbs up bye bye